Hello first year MBBS students. This is Dr. Aishwarya, content lead and mentor at Entrimed. It is that time of the year again and I know all of you are stressed about your first internal assessment. Being new to this whole new world of medicine, I know how you must be feeling. This must be very stressful and you would be bombarded with the thoughts that will increase your worries, doubts and concerns. Don't worry. It's normal to have all these worries and I am here today with our brand new session called Propulse at EntryMed where we will be discussing about some tips and tricks to overcome all your concerns. Most of you would have completed your upper limb sessions, right? How many of you are confident about knowing all the muscles with their origin and insertion? Many of you will still be wondering about how to crack this. Well, it's not easy to learn so many muscles one after the other. So why not try a different approach? For this, all you need is a chart paper and few colour pens. Yes, let's make an upper limb chart. If you guys are really good at drawing a skeleton of upper limb, please go forward by drawing it from the clavicle to the phalanges and also your vertebrae. If you are worried about drawing, you can still take print out of each part of the skeleton and stick it one after the other to make it complete. Now list down the muscles one by one and start drawing simple line diagrams of the muscles starting from the origin to its insertion. For certain areas like the medial epicondyle of humerus, where it is a common flexor origin, there will be multiple muscles attached to that area, right? Mark that area with a different colour and you can draw a text box next to it where you can list down all the muscles. For muscles with multiple heads of attachments, make sure you add number label for each heads. That is, first head, second head, third head, etc. Muscles which do not have bony attachment can be marked with a different colour and a text box can be added near to the attachment to mention that area. Grouping the muscles according to the nerves supplying it is also a very good idea. Now at the end, you have all the muscles in a single sheet and also you will get to look at all the muscles surrounding it when you are studying one. It's little time consuming guys but worth the time. So try this out and do let me know how you feel about the muscles origin and its insertion after doing this.